Hello, and you're watching an SEO content machine next changelog video for the month of September 2021, where I discuss all the big feature additions, bug fixes, and changes for that month. Firstly, if you are using the SEO content machine API, there's been a new API call added, and it's for project slash status slash ID and it allows you to get the running status of a task in SEO Content Machine without having to drag down every single status for every single task. And this is obviously going to be a much easier and quicker call to make if you are using the SEM API. If you want to check the API docs, all you need to do is click on this link here. It says API at localhost, and this will actually open up your web browser. And you can see here in frame, says API is running successfully. Now, if you click on this link here, read the API docs, it's going to take you directly to the SEO Content Machine API documentation. And if I scroll down, and here is the new API call that's been added. If you are using the email poster tool, you'll be happy to know that under post email settings, you now have an email interval wait time so just like the post interval wait time between sending each email, it's going to wait a couple of seconds uh, before going on and posting the next one. And we added this so that you don't overload your sending email servers and maybe triggering some spam errors. You may have noticed that the paraphraser tool now is called AI paraphraser. And in addition to that, you'll see that the amount of characters you can process have been added to your SEO content machine window. So on my account, I have 7,341 characters. Similarly, if I go and actually open up the tool, which is here, and if you don't have any credits because you are new to SEO content machine, I've left a link here that you can click on and get 25,000 characters for free. And this equates to about five articles of around 500 words. If you are a big user of the settings menu, you may have noticed that there have been a lot of reorganizations of the labels. For example, now all the backup functions have been grouped under the backup label and the backup buttons have been renamed to create backup, restore backup, and a button to find your auto backups. So here is an update for the post emailer. You may have noticed that the UI has been updated significantly. One of the big changes is now you have an email column here. So let's give you an example. If I paste in my article folder, it will tell me to select some emails. And if I select some example emails, you notice that you can actually see for each post what email it's being assigned to. Previously, you didn't have an idea. And I'll just show you uh, the title body and the scheduled date. So that rounds up all the big changes for the month of September. If you have any questions, feel free to email me anytime, info at seocontentmachine.com.